Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 13th of 2019. Well, it is titled Mercury in Silhouette. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image, a close up view of the surface of our sun and right to the middle of it is the planet Mercury. And Mercury is one of two planets that from the Earth can pass in front of the sun and that is Mercury and Venus, the two planets that are closer to the sun than the Earth. So they're the only two that can get in between us and the sun. Now here we see its silhouette, of course, the illuminated side is facing away from us. So we're just seeing the dark nighttime side of Mercury as it blots out a small portion of the sun. Now we can also see this happen elsewhere and other planets can pass in front of their stars. And we actually use that as a method of detecting the planets outside of our solar system. When a planet passes in front of its star, as we see Mercury doing here, it will blot out a little bit of its light, making that star slightly dimmer. Not enough that we could actually look at the sun during an eclipse. That would still be far too dangerous because all, the, all of the sun's surface is still com almost completely uh, visible. But it would make it, if you were making measurements from a distance, you would see that it got slightly dimmer, a tiny fraction, as a little bit of it was it, its light was blocked out. And we have used that method to be able to detect planets outside of our own solar system. Now looking a little bit closer here, we actually see some structures on the surface of the sun, not any sunspots as we are very close to a minimal uh, phase. So we do not have many sunspots right on, on the sun right now, except of course for Mercury blocking out a little bit of the sun's light. But we do see a lot of structure there and that is what we call granulation. So the granules that we see are actually the top of convective cells. So energy be can be transported in several different ways conduction convection and radiation. And the sun uses a couple of these it uses radiation to be able to transport energy in its interior and when its radiation leaves the sun. But in between it uses convection which means that material is heated up from below rises to the surface and releases that energy and then the material cools off and sinks back down. So the bright tops of the convective cells are where energy is being brought to the surface by the mass motion of the gases within the sun. They bubble up from the bottom rise to the top and then go back down. And giving an idea of size, they're actually very large and would fit the uh, size of one of the larger Western US states in terms of how big these granules actually are on the sun. So they're actually quite large, uh, not little tiny things. We're not looking horribly zoomed in here. We are seeing a good chunk of the sun. But of course, because of the immense size of the sun, there is still a lot more to it than what we see in this image. So that was our picture of the day for November the 13th of 2019. It was titled Mercury in Silhouette. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be pixels in the sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.